In this demonstration, we're going to look at how a pallet, when it's put on order and is intended to be shipped, uh, is shipped. And we're also going to look at how we, when we have an order of five pallets and we only ship three, how the system raises a warning to let the person picking the pallets know that they are not picking the full amount required. So first go to orders, create, just put any customer in, product X. And we will sell five pallets. Confirm. Just like that. Look at the delivery. And here you'll see we have already five reserved. Let's say the warehouse employee goes through and they end up only picking three. And they go to mark this as done. Odoo kicks up an error and says you have processed less products than the initial demand. And you can choose to create a back order to manage the delivery of the remaining three products or no back order and only ship three and bill your client for three. In this case, we can go ahead and create the back order. It'll ship the three as mentioned. And in the inventory app, you will have a new back order to ship the remaining two. Now, if I look at how this works through the barcode app, let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's duplicate the order again. We're going to do uh, five pallets, confirm, and we can move the barcode app. And here I go to barcode, right? I'd scan my picking. Oh, do it take me here and I'll see warehouse out number five. Same thing, I'd start scanning my products as I scan, let's say four, three pallets and I try to validate this. Oh, do will tell me the same message. Do you wanna create a back order or no back order? Cause you've processed less than what you've intended to. And if I processed more, Odoo would say you have processed more than what was initially planned. Do you want to validate this? No. So that's how Odoo will protect you from overpicking or underpicking, both within the barcode interface as well as directly from the backend. If you have any questions, please let me know.